The rescue link view has a sticker on the side which shows you your 15 digit hex unique number. Also a battery uh, expiry date. The antenna just unclips and as you lift the antenna this cover lifts up and exposes the activation button. There's, um, there's your digital display at the top, uh, a status LED, and also a strobe with infrared strobe functionality as well. The test button is short press, which should be done once a month for a battery test. Long press, which should be done once a year for a uh, complete GPS test. In an emergency to activate the uh, rescue link view, you unclip the antenna, lift the antenna up vertically, press and hold the activation button, and on the display it will tell you, uh, it will show you that the, uh, the PLB is activated and it will give you a status, whether it's locked on to GPS um, and when it's sending the um, the transmitting the, on the 406 megahertz um, and then to deactivate it press and hold again for uh, two seconds that will deactivate it and the display will go blank and then you can just fold down the antenna and the PLB is deactivated. Inside the box for the rescue link view is the rescue link PLB uh, a clip to go on the back and a rubber band so you can lash it to various items. Also uh, what they call an oral inflation tube uh, clip. This clips onto your oral inflation tube on your life jacket and then use the rubber band to attach to the PLB. There's a Velcro uh, strap here to hang it off uh, or lash it to, to something. Lashing straps and also they give you a choice of what they call skins, which are stickers to go on the front of the PLB so you can customize it. Like there's, a, there's a camo one and there's just a plain gray one uh, as opposed to this um, fluorescent green one. And then there's the user manual and the registration card, which you don't really need to use in this country. We can just uh, go online to register the, the PLB.